Hello from London. I arrived here yesterday on the 8th, which happens to be the day that Queen Elizabeth II passed away. And because I am in London, I wanted to go over to the Buckingham Palace and see what's going on. I know so many people have been gathering around since yesterday, dropping off flowers at the gates of the Buckingham Palace, paying their respects. I know that for the next 10 days, there's gonna be a lot going on in the royal family and also with um, the new succession of the king. I'm actually gonna go over to the Buckingham Palace in a second and I'm gonna be standing there witnessing history. I can't imagine what the royal family is going through. I mean, she, from just the stories that I've listened to about her and her history, like she was just this incredible woman. One thing that really stood out to me about her was that she obviously, she lived through World, World War II and she fought for her country. I mean, literally she enlisted as an auxiliary Wait, what was it? She enlisted as an auxiliary territorial service. So she was a truck mechanic. So she literally fought for her country in her own way. So many things about her just really have inspired me. Before I head out to the Buckingham Palace, I'm going to have some Earl Grey tea because I read online that that was what she would have. She'd have Earl Grey tea and some biscuits. So in honor of the queen, I'm going to have some Earl Grey tea and a scone. <laughs> There's something going on just about every single day leading up to her funeral. Um, and I kind of want to stay up to date with everything and kind of be involved in my own way just because this is just, it's wild that this is happening and I'm here and this is a huge part of history and so um, I want to be a part of it I mean even if it's just as an observer and even if it's just to go to pay my respects in this sort of way just showing up and I think her funeral is in 10 days which is wild isn't that a very long time I'm not sure I'm going to go see pretty women at the Savoy theater so I'm going to do that tonight at 7.30 after I go to the Buckingham Palace, which is a 24 minute walk, which is nice. Oh, by the way, I'm in a new house. I got this really beautiful house um, in the Richmond area, like right by the Richmond Park. And this is, I will say, the biggest house I've stayed at. Like this is an actual house whereas all the other ones have been just flats. This house even has a sauna, which is nice, and I've been using that thing, and I plan on using it for the remainder of my stay. I'm only here for about, I think, five days, and then I head to a different place. I've been doing my yoga here with the little sunroof over me. It's so beautiful. It actually has been raining like crazy, and the sun just came out. But yesterday when I arrived, it was, there was a huge storm and everyone was, you know, like the day that Queen Elizabeth died, there's huge storm, like this must be a sign. Who knows, maybe it is, but the world was very sad yesterday. The weather was very gloomy. It was very appropriate for what was going on in real time. These cats are indoor and outdoor cats, which is the first for me. All the ones that I've like cared for, they've all been indoor cats. And yesterday, I was in the kitchen. I look out the window and I see the cats outside and I'm like, oh my God, I had a mini heart attack. I was like, did I leave a door open? Oh my God, how am I gonna get them in? And then I realized, oh wait, they're outdoor cats as well. They have a cat door. But for a split second, I almost had a heart attack. Andy who? I'm gonna have my tea now and head out. I think I'm also gonna make a nice little lunch before I go and then, yeah. Mmm, smells good. This is definitely not how Queen Elizabeth would be drinking her Earl Grey tea, but I do not have fancy china or loose leaf tea. So I'm just gonna do this. We'll give a little toast to Queen Elizabeth's reign and life.
to Queen Elizabeth II and her 70 years of reign and her life, of course. Cheers. I miss just the whole buzz of the city, so it's nice to be back. I truly, truly have fallen madly in love with London and I'm just happy to be back. I'm currently making some salmon. Google listed it as one, as one of Queen Elizabeth's favorite meals to have. Was, I don't know if it said salmon or if it said just fish. I think it said salmon. And I have salmon and today is sort of a Queen Elizabeth day. So I'm having salmon and asparagus, which I think is more American. Hey. I'm on my way to the bus stop and it's already raining. This is exciting! I wonder if there's going to be a lot of people out even in the rain, which I'm sure there will be. The show is in an hour and a half, so I'm thinking I'm going to walk over to the Savoy, which is where the show is, and maybe grab a drink at the bar, at the hotel bar. Not sure. But this is incredible. So many people out right now. This is history, folks. recommend Pretty Woman the musical it is so good I had a blast the actors were incredible I mean I watched the movie before and it was great but the musical ugh, I loved it so much it was it was amazing it was so long props to them I'm sure it's such a hard job but they did fantastic I had a really good time um, I definitely want to go to more musicals now because that was so much fun. I left the building with a huge smile on my face. And even on my way over here on the train, I was just smiling the whole way because I was so satisfied with that show. It was great. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend it. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm definitely going to sleep in because it is so late right now. Um... So I don't know what I'll be doing when I see you next, but good night. I will see you later. The coolest thing about this house is the sauna. I definitely use this every day for 10 minutes, and I'm going to do that now. Oh, sweaty. Wow, that felt so good. I don't know when I will have my own home because I just plan on traveling for a really long time. When I do finally settle down, I definitely want a sauna in my house. Like this is going to be a for sure thing. It'll be the first thing I even put in the house. Not a bed, not furniture, no, I need a sauna. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I'm gonna make an Americano with some coconut milk. The other day I was at Amazon Fresh, which is literally just around the corner from here. I realized that they have a lot of good looking food for their hot ready-made meals and also for their cold meals like sushi and salad. They have a mac and cheese that looked so good and I kind of want to go just for that, but I think it also would be really cool to get a variety of vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian things and try them out and rate them and see which ones are worth actually buying and which ones are probably not. It is a Saturday today, so I kind of want to indulge in some not so healthy food. So yeah, I think I'm gonna walk over there in a sec and try it out. Do you put in your milk before or after? I kind of want to do it before so that the espresso, as it's pouring in, it kind of mixes in on its own. I feel like if I do it afterwards, I have to go in with a spoon and mix it. So I'm just going to do it before. Hello? 
Look at that beauty. Delicious. Wow. This is one of my favorite things. Creamy coffee. Oh, it's so good. And I have some porridge on the stove, like a grandma. Here's another one. Do you put your toppings over your porridge? I mean, they're called toppings. They're supposed to go on the top. Or do you do it beforehand, prepare the bowl, and then just pour the porridge over so it's easier? I just pour it over and mix it in and everything is ready for me. Ta-da! I mean, it's not cute. You just mix. And there you have it. Oh, okay, let's go to Amazon Fresh. Look how beautiful the sky looks right now. They actually have a lot of plant-based options, which is nice. And I've got my fork and napkin ready. So I got three hot foods and four cold. I found that there was more cold options and I just, I couldn't, it was hard to choose what I wanted to get. So I just went with four. Also, I got these Sultana scones. These are the best with tea. And then for dessert, I got a pastel de nata is what it's called. What do I want to start with? Let's do the hot food first. I think I'm going to start with the reason why I went was for the spinach mac and cheese. It looks so good and it smells, oh, it smells so good. Would you look at that? I am so hungry. Okay. Wow, this is delicious. I love mac and cheese with white cheddar. Hey, babies. We got a little guest. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, but I need to save my appetite because I've got a lot of stuff to try. Next hot food is a croissant sandwich. This is their roasted mushroom and hogumi croissant. I love croissant sandwiches, so. I definitely wanted to try this. This is, by the way, this is vegetarian, and obviously the mac and cheese is vegetarian. Mmm, it smells so good. Yum. Okay. Let's give her a little bite. Mmm. 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 I went like through a roller coaster, not knowing there's just a lot going on. I think this would be way better if you got it like fresh from the oven because the croissant is a little crunchy and I personally prefer when it's softer, but this is delicious. I love this. I love the mushroom in there. Okay, I could eat that all, but I've got lots more to try, so love this. This is the all day breakfast burrito. Is this vegan? Yeah, this one is vegan. I love breakfast burritos. Um, and of course I love Mexican food, so. Okay. Smells good. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> I think I judged too soon. Um, no. So this has roasted mushrooms, avocado, and beans in a tomato sauce. It's good, but it needs more flavor. If I only had this, I would be okay with it. I'm not like super happy about it. Again, I wish it had flavor, but it's good. I'm gonna take a quick little break with some kombucha. This is raspberry lemonade. Okay, wait, are you, <laughs> question, when you drink out of a bottle or a can, do you look at the label afterwards? I don't know why. I have the tendency, like, even though I know exactly what it is I'm drinking, I will still look at the label. Oh my god, I just did it again. 
I don't know why I always do that. Okay, now on to the cold stuff. I have four things. What I'm most excited to try is this no duck poison, poison, I think. This is all plant-based and it's supposed to mimic duck. So it's marinated pea protein pieces with hoisin sauce, cucumber, spring onion, and spinach in a wrap. It's already split in half, that's nice. I'm not a huge fan of wraps, actually, so I probably won't love this, but mm, it smells like cucumber. <laughs> I feel like if you like wraps, you will like this. It's not special in any way, um, but I do really like it. I think it's refreshing. Again, I don't really like wraps all that much, but I was just really excited because it says it's supposed to be this like duck wrap, but the vegan version. Um, I don't know what duck tastes like, honestly, but it's a little, I wish it had more flavor again. Okay, that's good. I got two sandwiches, a tuna and cucumber sandwich. And I got the a vegan tuna. So this is a no tuna and sweet corn. So I got real tuna and the vegan tuna. We're gonna try the um, the actual tuna first. And mm, I actually love tuna sandwiches. So I'm excited about this. Again, I wish it had more flavor. It kind of tastes like water. <laughs> it's not by any means the best tuna sandwich I've ever had. It's not even close, but it is good. I mean, it tastes just like a water sandwich, <laughs> but in a, in a good way. <sighs> now on to the vegan tuna and sweet corn sandwich. I don't really like this. No. It's a little salty, and also it just tastes a lot like soy which i guess i mean it is soy it's not my favorite though i would not get that again definitely not okay we have one more thing which is this pesto and mozzarella pasta salad i love pasta salad this is just vegetarian it's not vegan this is okay got a little piece of cheese in there <laughs> again this is trending here. Needs more flavor. It's okay. I'm excited to get back to that mac and cheese. <laughs> well, should I turn on the light in here? Lastly, for dessert, I got a um, pastel de nata. Mmm, that's good. The mac and cheese is five stars for being, you know, an, an Amazon store. The mushroom, roasted mushroom and halloumi croissant was, this was very good. Maybe a four out of five. The all day breakfast burrito, two out of five. For the sandwiches, <clears throat> the tuna, the regular tuna, it tastes like nothing. Like, just like you're having a water sandwich. But I mean, I still, I like the bread. I like how soft it is. I like the texture. I rate this a three. This vegan one, I rate it a two. It was not, I almost want to say, ooh, I almost want to say one and a half, but I feel like that's very cruel. No, I'm going to say one and a half. It was probably my least favorite thing from everything I tried. No duck hoisin wrap was my second to least favorite. I rate this a two. The pesto and mozzarella pasta salad, I would rate two and a half. Honestly, if you take it home and you um, and you sprinkle your own salt over it, I think it will taste really good. Actually, I'll rate it a three because it has potential. I probably will not get anything else ever except for the croissant sandwich and the mac and cheese. Also, this thing was a five out of five. Mm, four out of five. Okay, I'm going to finish my mac and cheese and watch some Riverdale and just hang out. 
I feel like I was, I kind of ate a little bit of everything and my stomach is so freaking confused right now. So I'm going to stick with one thing and then slowly make my way with everything to everything else. But yeah, I definitely am not going to eat everything. I'm going to finish it tomorrow. Ugh, even that wrap and that tuna sandwich. I recently got a gua sha in the mail and I'm watching this YouTuber, what is her name? Her name is Sam Souter, Soder, and she has a two week gua sha transformation video. And so I really want to try it. She does like a certain technique. I find that the older I get, the more my face starts to get a little more swollen with my alcohol intake. So I'm going to see if this helps with the plumpness. I mean, I want my face to be plump, you know, but just not, not like super plump. So I'm going to try to see if this works with my jawline, especially to get rid of the double chin. Anyways, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm so tired and I think that it's going to be the end of this vlog for now. Good night. Thanks for watching.